Welcome back to Life's a Breeze with Matt and Steve. I'm Matt. This is Steve. How are we tonight, guys? What do we got going on this week, man? We uh, kind of a crazy week. You know what? It has been a crazy week. Uh, so we we got a chance to go to Spirit Water Distillery, uh, brewery and distillery, yeah, uh, in Cary, Illinois, and we got a chance to actually sit down and uh, drink with the owner, master distiller, the man himself, the man himself, the Willy Wonka of of alcohol as i called him yeah he's uh, doing some mad scientist stuff man he is. there's some craziness going on and it's absolutely wonderful so we we actually got to go and film there and we're going to show you guys coming up here right. go for it bud uh welcome back to life's a breeze with matt and steve i'm matt this is steve how are we doing today guys uh today we're coming to you live from uh spirit water in Cary. And our friend Tim has uh, got a new business. He's just under a year, and uh, we're really excited to bring you some of his products because uh, we've been here before, and they are delicious. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, so, you. Tim, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you're doing, and uh, why people should come here and get hammered like we did last week. Yeah, oh, what thanks. Do you, what do you got going on over here, man? The, the place is beautiful. It is. Oh, it's thank a you. nice place. You guys will see the rest of those pictures for the tour. We're going to have that coming up. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love the new place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, I'm Tim Kovac. I'm the brewmaster, founder, and owner of Spirit Water, um, also the master distiller. Um, it used to be called you know, Small Town Brewery back in the day. You ever heard of Not Your Father's Root Beer, oh, yeah. Not Your yeah. Mom's yeah. Travel Pie? I think everybody's like heard that. of that by now. <laughs> yeah, it went all over the world, and plus, you know, bourbon as well. Oh, but yeah. uh, everything is good, you know. Uh, but um, the divorce with Paps and I, we we're pretty much done with it. Okay. And so now we create a new company called Spirit Water. Okay. And uh, Spirit Water is basically. Um, it's an old Indian name, which means Wakanda. So okay. we took a little bit of our, our name and made that into our new brewery and distillery because okay. that's what we started out with. Now, yeah. what made you pick Cary over Wakanda as a location? Well, it's kind of a funny story. You know, my uh, other partner, he lives here in Cary. He says, if okay. I didn't uh, move here, he said he would kill me. So, oh, there you go. So there you go. Right. So, <laughs> pretty cut and dry. Yeah. <laughs> so if I didn't do it, I was done. I was like, okay, I'll do it. There. I'll do no. it for Cary, you know? Yeah. Awesome. Better than being dead, absolutely. No, absolutely. All right, well, I gotta so tell you what, I am more excited about this adventure for you than I am the past one. You know uh, what, I have to be honest with you. This you is seemed a little more handcuffed. We're uh, here, I was. You, you yeah. can really see Tim's creativity at this point. And I mean, when you just, come in here, there's like 47 the taps, yeah, come it's, on. It's crazy. So Tim is like the Willy Wonka of <laughs> alcohol. So he's, he's over here, you got everlasting gobstoppers. You lick it one time, it tastes like oh, yeah. one thing. You lick it a second time, it's totally different. He is making crazy concoctions here at Spirit Water. Well, uh, and. Uh, we get to sit here and drink some for free with Tim. So why don't we uh, kick that off? Why don't, what are we starting off here with? We're going to start off with, um, it's called Grande Monde. It's kind of like our amaretto, but so much better. It's really from the early 1400s is what the okay. original recipes were. Because it was all done in France and they're roughly 60% uh, proof. So, oh, wow. you're going to love this. Yeah. Okay. So, let's start he this out. He never disappoints, folks. <laughs> we're going to do something. Thanks, if you do me a favor, we're just going to first smell this. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. And, no, not uh, like last time, Steve. you got to listen. I know. There's right? a process to this. <laughs> There's always a process in everything we do. That's right. So, smell this first. All right. You smell the cherries. Oh, yeah. Oh, big time. Oh, oh now yeah. do me another favor. Just take a baby sip. Just where you could take a baby sip and on the tip of your tongue. Remember those cherries you steal from the jar all the time? Yeah. Isn't that great? Now do me a favor, just take like a quarter sip of this, okay? All right. Oh my God, now you can taste the cherries and the almonds as it goes down, right? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. And there's no real burn, it's, it's very smooth, right? When there's you get, no burn at all. When you guys pick up a bottle over here at uh, Spirit Water and take this home, you come back to this video and play this game with us because uh, I didn't believe him the first time. And Follow he, along at home. He's nailing it. Because, because <laughs> you don't believe that it's going to happen, yeah. but what he's about to do is about to happen. Watch. Oh, there you go, guys. Just enjoy first. We're Let's killing? slam it down. All this right. one. Mm. Wasn't that good? Well, that's phenomenal. I'll tell you what. We went through about a half a bottle of this after the last time we saw you. Uh, oh, nice. We put it in everything. It's so good. Yeah, made it's, some cocktails, did a lot of shots. Definitely my favorite amaretto. <laughs> that I've ever had. Oh, thank you very much. You know, put a couple of the other ones, um, you know. Yeah, right. I mean, no, no, that's... <laughs> I can't name them. I was gonna say, that's, I, not a lot of, that's not a lot of competition, you know, not a lot of amarettos out no, there. No. Um, but there are, but I mean, none, none yeah. coming off like that. No, absolutely no. not. And, and you said that's 60 proof? 
that's 60 proof. Yeah, and, and you might, can't even taste the, 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 the alcohol in that. I might add as well that the price point on this liquor is so far below where it could be. What's a bottle uh, of that going for? Uh, we put all of our hard liquor, all of our, all the new HQs up there. Uh, they're all at $45. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so super sweet. Yeah. I've got $45 bottles of home I'll never drink again. So yep. uh, $45 highly for recommend a bottle that of any of this is, <laughs> is a steal. Uh, I'll tell yeah. you that. Right? Um, all right. <laughs> I'm feeling good now. Yeah, no, How about you? Good. Now I'm feeling a little warm. Good, good, it's good. still early, guys. That was a breakfast shot. It, it was is. delicious. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Well, let's do something different. I'm going to go to a beer. Okay. And this is something I've been making since 2011. It actually has 750 pounds of apples in it, five different types of apples. Um, I can't tell you what they are. No, of course okay? not. Okay. There's two different types of cinnamon, Madagascar vanilla bean. I'm going to do you a little favor. I want you guys to take a baby sip first, swallow, okay? Then I want you to take a bigger sip on the second one, and I'm going to make you a promise. You're going to taste my grandma's buttery crust, okay? Okay. So let's give this a try. This is shout out apple. to Tim's grandma. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right. All right. So baby sip. Baby sip first. So much apple. Mm. Uh, now second sip. Here we go. And you swallow. You can taste that buttery crust, right? And I, I said it before. I'll say it again. Uh, it is like an apple turnover in your mouth. It's fantastic. Uh -huh. It's buttery. Thank it's you. delicious. Well, and the difference between a beer and a cider, you know, I'm going to pick this all day. Yeah. I, mean, I have never had a cider that even tasted this no. apple and no. good, you know? It's, it's like putting an apple pie just in yeah. your mouth. Let it's crazy. Linger. And the butter, the butter on it is just nuts. I mean, mm -hmm. I never, it is. I've never tasted that in any kind of apple drink. It's so Pretty good. cool, right? Now, yeah, I don't even, I don't know how you did that, where it, where it evolves in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, it's super complex. I mean, it changes. It it's it's got a lot going on. It really does. I mean, that's dialed in. The flavor on that is so dialed in. Now, how long did it take you to come up with something like that? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> well, I started doing that in 2011. Okay. And um, I actually took it to uh, Long Grove for the first time. You know, and they they literally took every bit, every keg I, I made. They really? took it that first year. It was nice. insane. Yeah. Nice. So from that point on, I started making it all year round. And back in the day, um, we had you know um, Sam Adams, um, you know type of uh, yeah. apple beer that okay, was yeah. out there, yeah. and it was only supposed to be seasonal. Right. Well, now you see it all year round, right. right? And I was trying to get them. No, no, this is this is even better. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't so, blame it, and it is. <laughs> no, thank you. It really is. Um, so let's try something different here. This is an, uh, a different type of liqueur. Okay. okay? okay. It's more like a dessert kind of. Oh, this is this it's is. This is special. Okay, this is special. It looks it looks creamy and delicious. It does. Where it, I'm, sitting. I'm digging the color on it. It's cool, right? Yeah. You guys, you guys at home, if you know us at all, you follow us, you know uh, I'm a huge fan of cream alcohol beverages. Matt makes fun of me all the time. This will be the one time I won't because he's not dumping it in something he's not supposed to. So <laughs> hey, experimentation is the only way to learn. Okay? Yeah, he's all about the curdling. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was like three times. You know, he's killed a couple mice. But no. yeah, that was only twice. <laughs> Well, we'll, let me, we'll let that slide now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me explain something very interesting here. You know, you have, you know, Irish cream, you have also rum chata. Those are only roughly 17 proof. This is not 17 proof, guys. This is 35 proof. 35 <laughs> proof. They said so it could be What I really done. like about Tim because yeah. I've yet to come in here and be like, you yeah, know, the alcohol content could have been just a little bit more. I mean, he's, yeah. he's nailing those. When you, when you talk to Tim about any of his products, he's always like, here, this is how we make it. This is how good it is. <laughs> this is what it tastes like. By the way, did you know that it's going to kick your ass? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we're always like every every single one. We're like, oh, it's ten percent more than it normally would be at a store. Cool. Right. Like, let's. That's just, usually followed by, would you like another? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's, uh, it makes filming a little bit difficult sometimes. Uh, it does. That much. Well, I would like to call this uh, called Kerry Chocolate Cream. Kerry Chocolate Cream. Yeah, Curry because when I, we first got here, they said to produce something special. So is this so, a mix of more like a like a Bailey's Godiva kind of or. Kind of, but better. This is like the adult chocolate milkshake yeah. oh, nice. in your mouth. Can't it's awesome. With that. So to take a baby sip first. Oh, you see how silky that is? And it doesn't have that off taste. I remember we spoke mm. about this last time right. I was here. Yeah. Anytime you do like an Irish cream or anything like that, you take a drink and then there's this weird aftertaste. You yeah. know, it's usually you have to mix it with something to get rid of that. This one yeah. doesn't have that, which I really enjoy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Let's enjoy, bud. guys. Thanks, Tim, for having us today. Oh, Absolutely. thank you for having me. It. Isn't that pretty yummy? That's mm. fire, man. That's 
Oh. Super smooth. You could do so much with that. The, the chocolate caramel <laughs> martini I would make. I know. Oh, that, I just the amount of stuff go. Steve would be dumping this in. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I, I'm almost going to say this isn't allowed at my house just because I don't want to dump in my high-end bourbons and stuff. Oh. <laughs> you know I would never put that in bourbon. It's fine. I would, oh. I would put that in a... When he does, folks, I'll take a picture or a video of that in the middle of the night when he comes up with a concoction. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I've already got one in my head. I'm going to make it on camera. You guys stay tuned for that. I'm going to make something with this, uh, and it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to prove him wrong. Um, but yeah. Almost, it, it, has, I, it almost has, it has legs. legs. It does. Gonna, this, it has legs. I don't legs. know if you guys can see this at home. I mean, I, I've never had a cream liqueur that has is. legs on it. Yeah, I mean, it, it actually yeah. stripes the glass. Uh, that's, that's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Pretty cool, huh? I'm loving it. Hey, you guys, you want to do a favor? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm thinking about, why don't we play a little bit of Red Light, Green Light? Wanna I would play? love that. Okay. Steve's not very good at it, but I think he'll be all right. That's fine. I'll, I'll play along. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah? I'll be mean, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me go get a bottle real quick. Okay. And I'm going to get some shots, and uh, I'll be right back. Awesome. All right. All right. Now, it's important to note that uh, we, it's early in the day we're doing this video. So I just want to, I just want to make that clear for everybody. Now, Tim has already, as you've seen, uh, provided us with three shots. Very generous. Oh yeah. Uh, we're about to drink a lot more and there was a lot more going on uh, when the camera was off as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, we, we showed up around 12. I would say it couldn't have been later than 1, 1 1.30 by the time we started shooting. You know what I mean? I think we were already oh. done shooting probably by then. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, no, that was interesting. That was, it was a lot early. It was fun though. But yeah, Tim Tim does love his games. He loves he his, his games when you're drinking, and, and that I, is, that's I a think great I time. love that about him. Yeah, me too. Uh, all right, because he's gonna he's gonna play another game with us, yeah, uh, and and watch this one because he gets so into it, and I love that. I love this is actually why we wanted to film with Tim in the first place. Yeah, is the presentation of this liquor called Sunset Spice. Yeah, so check that out. It's coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, Tim. So you got something ready for us. You said you were uh, wanted to play a game of red light, green light. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Ready? Looking forward to it. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you, red light. All right. Red light, and I'm green light. Okay. So uh, people at home, try this at home when you buy a bottle of this. Hey guys, you're going to have a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is it that we're drinking here, Tim? This is called Sunset Spice. And it's kind of like the Willy Wonka of all liqueurs. Okay. okay. I told you guys. <laughs> like an everlasting gobstopper. Kind Pretty of much, right. All, right. all right. So what we're going to do first, um, you need to follow along with me every step of the way. Okay. All right. And you must keep up with me. If you're not, I'm going to have to make you do a double. Yeah. Is that fair? All right. That's, That's how you play the role. better this time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. He was really <laughs> bad last time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the first time I want you to do... I want you to cleanse your palate by taking a baby sip. We're gonna take roughly six to seven baby sips out of this whole entire shot. Okay. okay. But the first one, I want you to keep it in your mouth and swish, swish, swish. You can say swish, right? Yeah. Swish. 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 There we go. So we're gonna four back, 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 four back. We're gonna keep on going until I say so, and then we're gonna go slow swallow. Okay. okay. And then in the second sip, we're gonna take another baby sip, but we're gonna swallow right away. Okay. But I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna taste, okay? Love and it. then on the second sip, again, you must keep up with me. Okay. I am going to tell you again what the second sip is going to taste like. Okay. All right. But on the third sip, you guys are going to tell me, and depending on how you guys tell me, I'm going to have your head go up or down. Okay. Okay. So, and I'm going to give you a little hint. All right. On the third sip, it could taste like cherries, orange, cinnamon, honey, chocolate, marshmallows, or even burnt marshmallows. So, That's little a hint. Lot of, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you ready? Allowed to touch it. Um, so, yeah, we're okay. going to play together. We're going to do this <laughs> together. Okay, so we're going to take a baby sip baby and sip. swish, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slow swallow, okay? Nice, right? It See, is, just that alone is, is perfect. It's going to get better from here. <laughs> it's tingling right now. Your tongue is tingling, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Take a baby sip. And swallow right now. Cinnamon, vanilla, and honey. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely, right? Yep. Okay, here we go. Take another baby sip again. Here we go. Chocolate. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. That is awesome. Okay, next baby sip. Here we go. It's your turn. Cherry, cinnamon, vanilla, honey. What'd you get? Definitely cherry. Oh, I got, I got cherry and honey. Good, good, good. Another baby sip. And look more up. Look more up. Not all of it. Don't drink it all. Don't drink it all. Did you swallow? Did you get marshmallow? Marshmallow yeah. all the way. Okay, last sip, take a bigger sip. 
One more time. Here we go. And now it's going to taste like burnt marshmallow. And there's the burning. Yeah. That's so crazy. That is. Isn't that great? That's so crazy. The what is this called again? Your head, huh? Yeah, is that cool? What is this called again? This is called Sunset Spice. Sunset Spice. Sunset Spice. Uh, yeah. This is one of my absolute favorites because uh, not only because of the way the liquor tastes, but also because of the presentation Tim gives on it. Ah, that you. whole thing is awesome. And, and as you're walking us through it, and if you followed along at home, if you're drinking this at home, then you know uh, you actually do get all of those uh, unique flavors individually in a row when you're supposed to. It's the craziest thing. Not only, I mean, do I love the flavors of all these uh, things that are in here, I really like the tingling I get from drinking it. I mean, your tongue, your lip, you can literally you just feel it inside Last your Last time yeah. we were here, Matt's like, my, like, what is that numbing effect? And Tim's just like, high yeah. alcohol. It feels like I've been <laughs> it's, chewing, it's you know? It's alcohol. like I got a little tingling going on in my lip. I like it. But yeah, so the, the snozberries taste like snozberries. They really do. <laughs> I, uh, I can't well, about that one enough. Not too bad, right? It's 60 proof. I, and I can't believe Which that. Which is crazy, because none of this stuff at 60 proof is you're just like, wow, that's strong. Like, none of it. Right? No. It's very hidden in there. I mean, we all remember dying behind a dumpster with a half-empty <laughs> bottle of MD-2020 when we were like, you know, 18, 19 years old. Uh, I, I, you know, stuff like this didn't exist back then. I couldn't. No, no I because couldn't I would have. I would have bought this instead all day long. I'd have been like, I would. I never would have bought a bottle of McGillicuddy's no, in my life if no, I could have no. bought something that good. Uh, I, I never would have gone that route. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. What do we got next? Well, we have more coming up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about vodka. Let's talk Let's do about it. vodka. Let's I, talk about your vodka. Right. Oh, this is very special. Which is, which is much different than what you're getting at the yeah. grocery store. Well, let's talk about, you know, moonshine, the vodka, and stuff like that. Okay. So moonshine is only distilled one time. Okay. And then, you know, you have Polish vodka, which is distilled three times. You always see a three X on the bottle. And that's why you can always see it. You know, it's always, that's the style of it. You right. Know? And then in Grey, you know, then we got Grey Goose and Absolute, you know, um, basically back down in the 80s, it was done five times back in the day, right. okay? Pretty interesting, right? Well, you know, Tito's, you know, they, they distill theirs roughly 21 times, okay? It's wow. hand distilled, all right? Okay. And what happens is they have what's called three different stills, okay? And they're all tied together, okay? It's called continuous distillation, okay. all right? And so it goes up seven atmospheres, and then it goes in a holding tank, another seven, holding tank, another seven, holding tank. He's lucky to get it between 116 to 160 proof. Okay. Okay, and then it gets balanced out with water. Well, what we do is we keep on distilling and distilling and distilling and distilling until we get 197 proof. Jeez, how many times does that usually take you to get? It's roughly a, uh, about 50. Jesus. Yeah. How long is the procedure times. from start to finish to get it to that? It takes a couple days. A couple days? Yeah. yeah. So from that point on, what we're doing is then we take and balance it out with distilled water, and it's 80 proof. By the way, <clears throat> we're going to do this not on ice, not chilled. This is room temperature, okay? I, I know most people, they, they shun He's prove me wrong. on that. <laughs> it's going to taste like baby water. Ready? I can't wait. There you go. All right. You and go. for you guys that have watched videos in the past with me in it, you know I'm not a big vodka fan. You know the only vodka that Matt has ever even remotely liked was Reka. Reka. It's I like my charcoal, lava, whatever uh, they call that. Charcoal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to smell. We're you, a crap you to smell in the bottle. Yeah, there's no smell. You get you get a slight vodka smell. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't have that paint thinner no. nose no. on it right away. It's clean. You. Super clean. It is. And dig baby sip. That's super clean. This is the cleanest vodka made in the world, is, I believe. That is crazy. Made right here in Cary, Illinois. And you know what? I will it's actually, I'll it. attest to that. It's the cleanest vodka I've ever had. It, I agree. I mean, because, there's nothing to it. All right, so again, we all remember being kids. You got a bottle of cheap vodka. It came in a plastic gallon. You mixed it with Ooh. some uh, UV blue or uh, whatever else you got, like, uh, yeah. you know, uh, Code Red Mountain Dew. Uh, you would always taste alcohol. Steve had a rough childhood. Did. <laughs> it was. It was rough, man. You know, back in the day, I'm old now. Uh, but no, I mean, it was rough. No matter what you did to it, you can't. You couldn't mix cheap vodka enough when you were a kid to get rid of that taste. Uh, I'm drinking room temperature vodka straight. Uh, I'm barely tasting any alcohol on it at all. That's and what crazy. is this proofed out at now? 80 proof. 80 proof. Yeah. Which is crazy. So we're going to have an 80, and we're eventually going to have a 100 proof as well. So wow, and that's going to be the first time I'm looking forward to a 100 proof vodka. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it'll be fun. <laughs> Uh, good, right? It is. It's so good. That All is right, good. You want to see something, something that's very unique? Sure. This is a beer. This is a beer that hasn't been on tap for 
over three years, probably closer to four. Okay. In case you guys didn't know, yeah, he is also doing beer on top of all the, the liquors that he's doing as well. Did which... we not mention that Tim makes uh, beer and liquor as well? Yeah, because he does it all. Yeah. Uh, no. All right here in this building. Across the board. Right hey. behind where we're sitting. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm actually the first brewery and distillery in the state of Illinois. I, you know, I, I kind of thought that too because I, I know a lot of distilleries yeah. don't serve beer and a lot of breweries can't serve spirits and so yeah, good for you. You know what was crazy is actually after we left last time, I looked it up and I was like, how is he getting away with it? I don't know how he's yeah, getting away with it. Yeah, I didn't think that this. was even legal We, we went right. home and we were like, I don't, like, is he allowed <laughs> to be making his own beer and liquor at the same time? We don't really know. Because we also want to know what to talk about. I didn't know if that was a good thing or a yeah, bad thing. Like, no, <laughs> it's on the wall right there. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Never seen it before. Never seen that. So no, is, that a, is that a unique license then? It is. You know, I'm, getting, I'm the first one in the state of Illinois to actually have both. That's awesome. Good so, for you, man. Yeah. Hey, if anybody deserves it, though. Oh, I mean, well, thank you. You've been at this that. a long time. Baby. I have. <laughs> you you should have something to show for it. Absolutely. I agree. And this, you know, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, who else puts one inch uh, wood all the way around, right? Right. I know. Now you um, paid for that. Wait till you, wait till you get to those today. Because just sitting here feels so cool. It does. It yeah. does. And the black ceiling, you nailed it. Oh, the exciting you. thing too with with Tim being under a year is sky's the limit. I mean, yeah. I, I can only imagine where you're going to be in like two or three years. I'm so excited for you. I can't well, wait to see it. Yeah, we're under a year right now, so this is you said what December amazing. is a year? Yeah, December 26. Yeah, and then COVID hit, and then you know, boom, then yeah, all the distributors ready. didn't want to take anything else new on. Right. So, hopefully, uh, distributors will take us on now. That's right. It'd be great. Absolutely. So um, let's try something new here. What right? is, so right? what what is this one called? This is something special. Do you like French toast? Do you like morning? Love, Love French, French toast. toast. Absolutely. Uh, I, I'm going to make you a promise. You're going to smell maple syrup. All right. You're going to taste maple syrup, but then you're going to taste the bread, the egg, the cinnamon, the almonds, and yes, you'll even taste the butter. Okay. Um, I can't and, wait for this. This is going to be cool. <laughs> Check we it out. We used to make a shot that tried to accomplish we, all of that. So I take back what I said earlier about my breakfast shot. <laughs> uh oh. This is my breakfast shot. <laughs> By the way, this is 13% uh, oh. alcohol. 13? Yeah. Oh, it's weak. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. It's a beer. Finally. It's a beer. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> That's what I mean. He can't even make a beer at a normal percentage. No, it's 13. Why, 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 why should <laughs> why, you? If why? you're making it, why should you? So yeah. enjoy, your, enjoy your maple syrup triple. <laughs> Takes a baby sip. Oh, oh my god! Isn't that sick? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have breakfast. Do you remember? You remember those uh, those sticks that they used to give you? It, they used to break apart. You'd get a big sheet of them. You'd put them in the toaster. You'd take them out. You'd break them oh, apart. Yeah, dunk yeah, them yeah, in yeah. the syrup. That's what I'm. Oh, the they, French toast sticks. Yeah, the French yeah. toast yeah. sticks. The Ego ones. That's what all. This is missing is a little piece of bacon hanging out of the shot. It is. Uh, You're set. Yeah. Little, oh my god, that would be amazing. Awesome. Oh, it's so good. And you can taste the wow. butter. Yeah, that's crazy. That's the second thing you have right now that I've tasted that has butter in it. That's yeah. nuts. Is that cool? Who else is doing butter? How do you get the butter? I can't even tell you. I know <laughs> you can't tell us. I just, I, I had to ask because I'm like, I was going to ask earlier and now I You know, as, as you guys have seen, I can't take this guy anywhere. He uh, wants the secrets. Like, I do. I take do. it easy, Connie Chung. All right, so stay tuned. Tim's going to give us all his recipes coming up next. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you so much for these shots. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, we got a couple more questions for you, but I think yeah. we're going to continue that uh, in the back. Okay, uh, cool. I, I just got a couple more questions just about yeah, what I think you're we're taking doing you guys on a tour and... to other people. Um, yeah. But so, yeah, Tim's going to give us a tour next. Uh, we're already feeling pretty good now. Yeah, I mean, no. that, was, that, was a, that was a good little lunchtime thing there that we just did. Yeah, I'm never disappointed here, I tell you that. I know. <laughs> uh, last time, well, now you, you guys remember, last, last time was pretty rough, uh, if you saw that episode. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you're in the Chicagoland area, you've got to come out to you, Cary and check this out. To. This is crazy what's going on here. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a hidden gem. And uh, you can't see it from the angle right now, but the, the, the place is hugely spacious. I mean, there's plenty of plenty of room in here. You'll be able to go on our Facebook page and see all the pictures. Uh, we're going to do a small video with Tim and back in the distillery area. He's going to kind of walk us through what he does in the day to day. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Check out the link above. If you want to check out anything else that Tim is doing, I'm going to put it right here. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We got more coming at you. Uh, we'll see. Oh man, that was a lot of fun. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to do that a couple more times. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, it was a really good time. I'm glad you guys uh, checked this video out first off. You know, thank you to Tim and everybody over there at Spirit Water. And seriously, hopefully you guys picked up at least a bottle of the Grand Amane uh, and the Sunset Spice because, yeah. oh my God, 
outrageously good. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff going on there. I mean, more than I can even remember at this moment, but it's yeah. really, you know, Absolutely. the amaretto to the the American peated whiskey to just yeah. small batch bourbons like. I think my favorite has got to be the apple pie beer. The apple pie beer, yeah. yeah. No, I mean the list goes on with grandma's buttery. As you crust. saw in the video, you know, forty-seven <laughs> taps behind you, uh, cold liquor, which is awesome. Yeah, I, I love that. Hundred percent, I love that. It's it's served just nice and chilled and. Yeah. Either way, I mean, huge shout out to Tim. He was, he was great having us out and uh, actually invited us back, huh, bud? Yeah. No, we'll be heading back real quick. Uh, we're gonna go back and actually do the uh, tour of the distillery. Uh, talk a little more with Tim about what he's doing, why he's doing, and what's coming up. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm excited for it. We're uh, going to see how long this series will go. Yeah, we're going to try to do, we're going to try to make a couple more parts out of this. Instead of cramming all of the time we had with Tim into just one episode, we're going to go back. We did uh, find out he's got some new product coming out. Yeah. We'll tell you soon about. And, uh, and we'll yeah, get really a lot of exciting stuff. A lot of the yeah. stuff that he's got going on. Um, and could, uh, any excuse to go over there and just. Yeah try 22 different liquors of his that he makes 100 uh, percent. but yeah all right well you guys stay tuned uh we'll have all that coming for you next uh keep a lookout for these videos coming up in the uh, following weeks thanks guys